just gonna have to excuse us because we are literally day three into parenthood. Mum and Dad looks like absolute poo. And <laughs> baby girl just wants to keep moving. So if you see me just wandering around, that's why. You might have seen we did a video when we went to go and pick the pram. We haven't had the pram at the house because of the superstitions. So we just been picked up this morning so that we can go out. So we're gonna do an unboxing and like a review video. We don't need it all though, so I'm just gonna open what we kind of need. I think that's the foot one. So this is the egg two. Like I say, we did do a video so you can go back and see us choosing it. I did kind of like have this in mind before I went to the shop to pick it. I don't think we need some of this though because she won't be in that until she's about six months so I'm not going to bother setting that up. I'm going to have to get it out to see it. Let's see what comes in here then. I think that's the rain cover. Must yeah. be. We'll probably need that if they would. That's like the bar across the top. I don't know. I think that's for the other bit. Oh gosh, I have no idea. when they're this small you can just put the car seat onto these clips and pop her in there so like for faster trips like if you could just go and in, nip it into a shop or something we're going on a longer walk today so we're going to put her in a carry car and then to release it it's the, that button and then I'll just come up so then I need to take these off because that's just for the car seat and then we're going to put in a carry car so that literally just Goes on there like that. Ready to go. Possibility to get through the doors. It's good for that one. It's nice and narrow, but you don't lose any space in the actual carry car. So once she's off the stroller, we just click her into place in here. And then she's ready to go. So to get this in the car, you just release that. And this goes down here. Whoever's pushing her can have it at what height they want. It comes with a rain cover and a mosquito net. I'm just keeping the rain cover under here just in case you know we do have bad weather because it's the UK. And then there's like this bit as well. This lifts up and this is just like a breathable vent thing for her. So I think it's safe for him to actually sleep in if you were going to go and stay overnight somewhere. And then this is 50 plus UPF, so she's protected from the sun in there. 
as far as cushion it goes it's really like smooth I don't feel like it's too bumpy for her and then at the front the wheels lock so that you can keep them straight or swervy obviously I've got them unlocked at the minute be swervy so you literally just press that button and then that locks it to just stay straight and then when we want to stop it's literally just and that's the brake on and that's the brake off as far as the storage goes underneath I don't think there's a lot, but to be honest, I'm not sure what we'll really put under there. The only thing we've got under there at the minute is the rain cover and a drink. Everything else is in the changing bag that comes with it, which Mitch is wearing. And there's so much room in that, so I don't really feel like it's going to have a negative impact on the pram altogether. Which brings us to the bag, which was one of the uh, game changers for me. One of the things that I thought was the best thing about it was actually the bag. And it's stylish, light. Don't even look like a pram bag, and us men can get away with wearing it as well. <laughs> For when Mitch isn't with us, I can just put the changer bag on here. It's got like two little clips. One, two. about what pram to get so it might help people um like we were torn between this and the eye candy one way and then in the end i think for me it was like the aesthetics of this one the eye candy looks bigger but like the woman got the mattresses out and showed us like you don't lose any size this one looks narrower and smaller but it's actually not it's literally the same size and the color schemes are really good weren't they we wanted like the all black they do like a really beautiful feather one which if we didn't get the black i probably would have gone for that and I felt like it looked cosy for her, like she loves being in there. It's so like enclosed, I think she likes that. So I'm really pleased that we went for it in the end. So hopefully this video has helped if you're contemplating what pram to get. And if you've got any questions, then comment down below. And thanks for watching.